Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. Today's bedtime story is Finding Dory. And it was adapted by Amy Novosky, illustrated by Satoshi Hashimoto, and designed by Tony Therajan. Copyright 2016. This is Dory. Dory is forgetful. When Dory was young, her parents collected shells and made trails for her to follow so she would always find her way home. One day, Dory spotted a pretty purple shell in the distance. She wasn't allowed to swim that far, but Dory forgot. Dory was just about to pick up the shell when, whoosh, she was pulled away by the undertow. Suddenly, Dory was all alone. She couldn't find her way home. Eventually, she forgot what she was looking for. No one was able to help. And then she crashed into Marlin. Marlin was far away from home, too. He was looking for his son, Nemo. Ah! Dory helped Marlin cross the ocean and find Nemo. She went to the lot, oh, she went to live with them in the coral reef. She finally had a new home. One day, Dory went into Nemo's class on a field trip to see the stingray migration. Dory got pulled into the undertow. When Dory returned to safety, she was flooded with memories of her mom and dad. She remembered where she was from. Dory wanted to go home. With the help of some old friends, Marlin and Nemo joined Dory on her trip across the ocean. All the way to Morro Bay, where she was scooped up and taken away. Maury, Dory, found herself in a tank inside the Marine Life Institute. This was where she was from. A cranky sep septopus, a seven-armed octopus named Hank, greeted Dory and agreed to help her find her family. He had three hearts, after all. Dory was tossed into the whale shark pool, which is where Dory met Destiny. When Destiny heard Dory speak whale, she couldn't believe it. Dory, is that you? When Dory lived at the Marine Life Institute, Dory and Destiny had been pipe pals. They used to talk through the pipes that connected their tanks. Destiny knew where Dory had grown up. Your whale has gotten really good, Destiny said. Thank you. Hank soon joined them. Dory told Destiny and her neighbor Bailey, a beluga whale, that she was looking for her family. Destiny told Dory to take the pipes to the open ocean exhibit. That was where she would find her family. Dory was worried she would get lost in the pipes, so she found another way. Hank and Dory rolled, swam, and swung across the Institute to the ocean, open ocean exhibit. Dory was sad to say goodbye to Hank. She would miss him, but he wanted to go, oh, but he wanted to go to Cleveland. 
You'll forget me in a heartbeat. Three heartbeats. Now go find your family, said Hank. Dory asked around for help, but no one knew where her family was. Then she saw something. Dory found her house, but it was empty. Suddenly, Dory was filled with memories. She remembered her mom and dad hugging her. She had to find them. Dory spotted a purple shell in the distance. As she swam toward it, she met a crab who told her if she went through the pipes, she would find her parents. She followed in, in the directions and ended up in the ocean. She was alone again, all alone. Dory worried that she'd never find her way home. Then she spotted another shell. And another. Dory followed a trail of shells, and she found her mom and dad. Dory was home again, surrounded by her family and all of her friends. And that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.